So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is Monday and Mondays we normally do Power Query, but you know, Microsoft has released the past two months amazing, amazing features and I don't want you to miss them because they are so good that it should be used in any report basically. So we will hold on for Power Query for a while and just go through the features that really needs to be highlighted because they are so good. And as you see on the title today, I'm going to talk about the machine learning algorithm that you can use in Power BI, okay? And it is called Explain Decrease Increase Feature. And what it basically does is uh, sends data to the machine learning algorithm that will help you understand why something goes up and down on your charts. And it is fantastic. Stay tuned, really. This is really, really, really good stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Power BI, and this is a file that Eric Stenson showed us in the Power BI user group meeting in Sweden. He was our guest speaker. Thank you, Eric. And I really love this data set. This is actually the number of traffic accidents in Sweden, and this is a data source that is open data provided by the Swedish government. They have a uh, site where you can actually connect to this API and other APIs to get all kinds of traffic information. And what we have in the Power BI file is uh, traffic accidents in Sweden reported by police officers, okay? And I really love this data set. It's just, just so great. Uh, I will use it on more... Um, demonstrations because there are some really hidden great insights in here. But anyhow, uh, we're going to focus today on increase decrease algorithm. Okay, and for that I am going to use this graph. I'm sorry that the information is in Swedish, but I will show you what it says. Okay, I tried, I checked if they had it in English and they don't, it's just Swedish. But um, here it is a chart, this is the number of accidents in here and the Y by H. So here is H0. I can imagine it's traffic accidents where there are small children involved, perhaps. Oof. Um, and then, you know, this is teenage years. And it was quite funny. We were looking at this and I said, oh, that 930 must be the 50 year old crisis. And look at that. <laughs> H50. Having, yeah, by, you know, you know, a Porsche or this kind of, yeah fast vehicles. But jokes aside, uh, what you can do when you have this type of chart is actually, let's go here between 15 and 16. If you see a big drop, what you can do is you can right click and say analyze, and then it will say explain the decrease. So let's do that. And then a machine algorithm will actually go through the data and try to explain the decrease. And this is fantastic. Actually, Eric, when he was here, he showed me how these waterfall charts work and I love them. From don't understand them to absolutely love them. They are great. Let me show you what it says here. So what this machine algorithm does is just, it takes the entire data set and then checks, okay, where are, what have changed between 15 and 16? And then it just throws at you all the finds that you have and things that have changed, okay? And it is magical. Check the first one. It says, okay, moped, that is uh, scooters, you know, for <laughs> teenagers. So it says, scooters accounted for the majority of the decrease among the traffic type, offsetting the increase of person bill, that is cars. So uh, scooters uh, decreased. You can see here, a scooter in Sweden, you have a scooter class one and class two. It means how fast that scooter can go. You have like 30 kilometers per hour. And after that, you need a license. I don't know which one this is. But uh, as you can see, the number of scooter accidents decreased. You know, teenagers that start to, you know, drive in cars, perhaps to, to have a scooter is not that cool anymore. 
and that decreases, increases a little bit the number of car accidents for teenagers because that's when they start having access to cars. And this is what he was explaining. So he says 41 increased in cars, 30 increased in bikes, but the scooters and tractors, I know, it decreased a lot. And that was explains the decrease. Isn't that amazing? And then here you can tell the machine algorithm, like, yeah, you got it. That was absolutely fantastic. Or you say, no, that was not it. And then you can actually move on to the next one because what this algorithm does is just matches with all kinds of segment, does all kinds of segmentations for you to see if could that be this, could that be that. So in here it says um, by age and type of accident. And it says uh, C, which is bikes and the scooters, and G2, which is scooters, accounted for the majority of decrease among type of accident. And that is basically the same as here. And it says uh, this is uh, single accident and other. So basically, this is still not the same. Uh, this is saying age and the type of road, you know, the state of the road. So it says, it says here that it was a 17 more accidents due to thin ice. You remember where in Sweden there is, there is ice on the road. And this is uh, snow. This is unknown. And this is, uh, yeah, that the road is dry, you know, so a lot of the decrease is on roads that were dry. And because of the decrease was on scooters, you know, you drive scooters in summer, drive scooters in winter in Sweden is not, well, it is possible, but it's not a good idea due to ice and snow. So of course, most of the accidents happen when the road is dry, when it's summer. And yeah, you can continue. And this is supposed to actually help you understand um, what could cause that increase or decrease? Uh, if there is any particular region where, I don't know, maybe it said that the Swedish government had a program in Stockholm to decrease the number of accidents. Here you can see, okay, the, that program had an impact. It suddenly accounts for the amount of in decrease. I just love this thing. And then if you want, you can actually change the chart to different types. That tells absolutely nothing. I don't like this chart. So make sure you test it, test it, test it, test it. And if you are not the final user, please show this to your business users. They will love it because for them, it will allow them to, to actually have insights that perhaps it would take them a long time or even not I mean, they will never see because they will have to, you know, slice the data in so many ways. This small algorithm does it for you and it works beautifully. This is fantastic. Here you can learn more about how the algorithm works. Well, not, not the algorithm, but how the function works. So they, they will show you basically what I've shown you. Um, there are some limitations though. And I am working now with uh, quite a few live connects, you know, like big data sets that cannot really be important. And this is a feature that cannot be used there. And, and I'm so sad about that. Uh, so hopefully it will be a way to do this without actually leaving the data. I mean, we can actually borrow the machine learning algorithm. I don't know what it is. It's just the amount of data. Perhaps they don't want to get all that data into the Microsoft centers. I have no idea. But yeah, direct query doesn't work. Live Connect doesn't work. You have uh, unsupported scenarios here for insight. So if you see that this doesn't happen, that when you right click, the explain increase decrease does not show up, come here and check if you have any of these cases, okay? Because probably you do, if you don't see the, uh, the option there. Okay, so 
amazing feature, isn't it? Make sure you use it. Just try it. I mean, sometimes you won't get it right, but when it does, it's really awesome. Okay, so this is all for today. If you like the video, please let me know by liking it so I can do, do more videos like it. Uh, share it if you know somebody that will also like to know about this. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions as usual on the comment box or any of the social channels that I list below. And make sure to subscribe at Paulus Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Click the bell to receive notifications and have a fantastic Monday.